Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to create this really cool Swift UI widget. Now you can actually go ahead and experiment with it. You can click on the plus sign. You can then click on ice widgets and you'll be able to select between the large one, the medium one or the completely small one. And you can select it and actually drag it anywhere across the screen as you can see right now. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but the equations displayed inside of those widgets are dynamic, meaning they will change every few seconds. I'll teach you exactly how to use this. I'll also teach you how to fill it up with something else other than equations. It can be a quote, it can be a verse from the Bible or something like that, or it can just be uh, jokes or anything like that. If there's something that you're interested in watching, please take, stick by and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Welcome back guys. So the first thing we need to do is actually go ahead, uh, click on file, click on new, and then go to target. Inside of our target, we're going to search up for widgets. So I'll simply click on the filter item and I'll search up widgets. Obviously make sure that the platform here is iOS and click on widget extension and then click on next. We're going to give it a name. So I'll call it my widgets and I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. Make sure you click on activate as soon as this message pops up. And now what we can do is we can click on my widgets, click on my widget over here. And this is the file that we're actually going to be displaying or configuring our widgets. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create another file which will provide our information. And instead of actually creating a whole new file, we can go all the way at the bottom. And what we can do is we can simply create the struct over here. So this struct will pretty much contain the equations that we're going to randomly select and display inside of our widgets. To do that, let's simply create a new class. It will be called class and we will call it my data provider simply because it will provide our data. Inside of here, we're going to create one function and it will be a static function and I will call it func static func get equations. Out of here, I'll create an array full of equations. Now I already created this, so I don't waste your time. So I'll simply copy it and then paste it for you. As you can see, this is just a very normal array with a couple um, five equations inside. And obviously we can or should return this array in order to actually use it. So I would say return string. And then right before our function ends, we can say return strings dot get random element and this will simply return a random element from our string now obviously we do need to force and wrap this and now we can use this file to randomly get an equation and display it in any of our widgets so now let's go ahead and actually start by editing this file to display the information that we needed. So this file and everything inside of it is actually provided by Apple straight away when I created the widget. I did not write it, I received it exactly the same and we can use it to actually customize what the information that we're displaying inside of our widgets. The first thing I will do is I will go to the simple entry uh, struct and I'll add another variable here, uh, constant, sorry, and it will be of type String. So let's call it equations and it will be of type string. And this is pretty much where we're going to pass our equation. Obviously, if as you can see, all of a sudden it's giving us errors. So let's go ahead and click on fix to all of them. And inside of here, we are going to be passing, first of all, a placeholder text. As you can see, it says func placeholder. And I'll explain exactly why we're doing this. So let's, let me just open it and I'll put three dots. Now pretty much sometimes this will not load the information already. So let's say you're getting something from a database and it wouldn't load up so quickly. Apple requires you to display something in the meantime. And that's exactly what we're going to be displaying. We're going to be displaying three dots while everything else loads up. Also, if I go ahead and hold and then click on add, and then click on ice widgets, you will realize that the placeholder text is the one being displayed. So we have to actually provide that. Obviously you can provide anything else like widget loading or anything like that, but that's up to you. After that, for the get snapshot, we're also going to be creating the same placeholder text. And finally, we can actually start by getting our random string. So let's go ahead to uh, line 28 here, where it says simple entry. And instead of having the placeholder text, this time we're going to say my data provider. 
and I'll say get equation. So this will provide a random text and it will assign it to my equations string over here. Let's scroll down to our error and see what we can do to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it says missing argument for parameters equations in cell. Now, now to fix the error, first of all, we need to just add it as you can see as equations. And we're just going to pass in anything, something like my equation and now we're going to start working on some of the cool features inside of this so now let's go ahead and actually design or create the view of our widget now as you saw it had a white background just like this and it had bold or black black bold text so let's go ahead and do that first i'll remove this and i'll add a z stack and after the Z stack, I'll be creating the background. So I'll say color dot white dot edges, ignore safe area, and I'll say that all. Now, I do think that if you don't actually add this, it will load up as white, but I wanted to add it so that if you want to change the color, you can simply change this to blue, black, red, or anything, and it will change as well. After that, let's actually add the text. So let's add the equation. And to do that, I'll type in text, and then I'll say entry dot equations and let's go ahead and customize the text so the foreground color it was black and we also wanted it to be bold so i'll say font weight and i'll say it is bold for and we can add another font and then we can say dot large title let's go ahead and run this and see what will happen awesome so as you can see when we load up the app the main app is just a hello world so this is just our normal content view file which we have not actually changed or did anything to but let's go ahead and close the application and then let's go ahead and actually add one of the widgets from our app so this is the preview app that i created but now let's go ahead and add one from our new application which is called example as you can see it's called example over here as you can see we are seeing the placeholder text that we typed up which are three dots and I can select let's go ahead and select the medium one and I'll click on add widget and as you can see it is working it is bold it is a large title and you can see the difference so it's exactly how we created it now I'm not sure if you noticed or not but example is exactly what we called the name of the app and my widget is the name of is the title of this so let's say i want to add another one and i go to example as you can see it's the title my widget and this is an example widget is again the title that the description of our widget this is an example widget and here are all the all the equations that we are creating so this was actually it for this episode you can go ahead and play more about with it you can for example select the larger widget and you can add it and as you can see it fits perfectly and works perfectly inside of your iphone and it will always be displayed there you can obviously change the background by simply coming over here and changing it from white to let's say we want it to be green and let's change this to white and if i run this again you realize that it does change so this is very easy to do it's nothing complicated but it does work and it does make things look really nice inside of your iphone thank you for watching please remember to leave a like leave a subscribe it does take me some time to create these videos but i do enjoy making them thank you and see you next time